shall be your host for this afternoon. We're going to get a few key speakers to come up uh, throughout this session just to explain a little bit more about what's happening, and I will be the guy that's kind of bridging the gap between uh, you and then here on stage. Now, as I mentioned, we're here for the official launch of BlackBerry 10 uh, in the C10. It's a very, very exciting time for BlackBerry, especially here in Singapore as they celebrate their 10th year here. So it's uh, a little bit more exciting in that sense. Now, before we start as well, I'd like to just uh, say that we have Wi-Fi here, just in case you guys want to get connected. If you do want to connect to the Wi-Fi here, the SSID is BB10, capital B, capital B, 10, and the password is all lowercase BB Event 2013. Time BB10 for the SSID and the password is BB Event 2013. All right. Again, like I said, we have an impressive lineup coming up for you. Besides the hands-on demo for the new Z10, obviously, uh, as you came in on the other side there, we have an experience zone. So once we're done here, you are most welcome to head across over to the experience zone to actually try the Z10. We have a launch party as well this evening at 7 p.m. So in between now and then, you are also most welcome to go and visit any of the exhibitions that are happening here this afternoon. So don't forget to keep your lapels or your wristbands on. We have three exhibitions here. We have the Outside In Magnum Photos Showcase, Fujian, so that's a Blue Ocean Legacy. We also have the Art of Brick, and uh, I believe there might be something but you can be here and you can kind of walk through those exhibitions this afternoon before the launch by this evening at 7. I hope all of you will be there as well to uh, have a little bit of fun after this press con session. Now without further ado, I'd like to invite someone very important on stage. He is the country director of Singapore uh, Blackberry. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Charles Lefort. yet before I get you through the journey. I have a few good news. Today is the end of something. The wait is over. And I've been meeting a lot of you um, you know, the last few months. And a lot of you asked me, can you show me your device? The answer was no. And the answer still is no until a few minutes, right? So you get your hands on it, you can play with it, you see how beautiful it is, it is how unique it is. So that's the end of the wait. Beginning of something else. Black Raven is in Singapore today. Z10 is the first mobile computer platform that we launch in Black Raven. And I'm really happy about that. What about you? Are you excited? Yes. So, are you excited? Yes. Thank you. It's been a long journey, and you know that. I've been presenting what we've been doing in Singapore and across Greenland. It's been a long journey. We've been transforming the way we do business. We've been transforming our customer experience. We've been transforming our platform. So today, Blackberry 10 is redesigned, re-engineered, and it's a completely new mobile platform. Also, this year is our 10th anniversary, as, as uh, Paul said a little bit earlier. We started business here with only one carrier. At that time, it was standard launching Blackberry uh, OS in 2003. Now, today, the ecosystem around BlackBerry is just unique. We have three main major carriers calling us. Sintel, of course, Starhub, of course, and M1 is committed to BlackBerry 10 as well. We have two great distributors offering the whole market. We have about 300 point of sale, and we also have great brands that are committed to BlackBerry 10. I've been on calls. Maybe they are going to cross this room, maybe. And obviously the BlackBerry brand is hugely important to us. As, as a lot of you heard from our CEO uh, back in January, we named that. There's no more research motion. We are BlackBerry. And that's the good news as well. For the first time, I don't have to explain who I'm working for. I'm working for BlackBerry. Yeah. I am BlackBerry. And what we do is BlackBerry ecosystem. So obviously, the last time we talked about BlackBerry 10 was a concept. What we're bringing today 
and you probably heard from our CEO, Torsten Heinz, back in January we launched this great BlackBerry 10 concept with two devices, Z10 and Q10. Today, this afternoon, we will focus on Z10. I think we have a video to play uh, before I get into more details about the journey. So, Ben, the video.
and the mentor asks us here. So I'm sure you'll have a lot of questions about who is committed to that great thing. Maybe not. Do you, do you have that question in mind? Yes. I'm sure you have. What side is committed to that great thing? The sky is committed to that great thing. And we will demonstrate a little bit later the local labs, the local made for Singapore, for Singaporean to make your life unique on the BlackBerry OS. So obviously BlackBerry 10 resonates well across Singapore. For me, and for us at BlackBerry, it is the smartphone to fit that, those people that want to be hyper-connected. We define them as being BlackBerry people. You always, in BlackBerry 10, one swipe away from your social network, from your personal life, from your professional life, just one swipe. It's easy. There's no more being and out. You know, pressing home button, checking something else, going back into your calendar. No more. It's very simple. One swipe away. BlackBerry 10 is the smartphone for people who want to get things done, for people who want to be successful. And I know that resonates really, really well in Singapore. So we are really proud to launch BlackBerry 10 in Singapore and ZK, the first BlackBerry 10 platform. It's also a unique and a new way of communicating around what we call mobile computing platform. Have you heard our CEO talking about mobile computing platform? It sounds a bit strange the first time, but it's just a way to define how we bring mobility to the next level. Just imagine you from media, a lot of you are bloggers, media, you type on your smartphone now, uh, typing what I say. And just imagine having the possibility to send immediately what you just type to your head office, get it published, take pictures, format everything in something which is professional production, right at your fingertips, one swipe away. So BlackBerry has around mobile computing. It brings mobility to the next level for consumers and for enterprise. I've been spending quite a long time uh, the last few weeks talking to IT managers and CIOs. They were literally punching the air and say, yes, it's coming eventually. And BlackBerry 10 brings no compromise to the existing BlackBerry DNA. For corporate customers, highly secure. Highly secure. BYOD, you know, the least strength connected to our corporate world, is no more bring your own disaster. It's about security. There's no more catastrophe around getting the wrong app or getting a virus in your corporate life or device. This device manages so well your corporate well as well as your personal. So obviously, beyond all this, we believe C10 is bringing your expectation when it comes to a smartphone just beyond any expectation. It's different in all different ways different in your experience, we call it the BlackBerry experience. It's different because the UI is different, and we will show how different it is. It's different because this device, unlike any other, learns what you do. It learns how you type. Maybe some of you hear that on the And I type a lot of stuff in English for my corporate life. I also type a lot of stuff in French more for my personal life. That Z10, like a 10 recognized when I type in French or in English. No need to change your language or just in complex stuff. Simple. Just learns how I do stuff. It's unique. I talked a little bit about application then, and we will have on stage two of our great partners and great sponsors of like great 10 a bit later. Um, they will demonstrate what they do for Singapore. Obviously, application is key. Content is key. That library 10 is launching with the biggest number of apps for a new OS in the market. Nobody else did it. Not only are we launching in 70 markets in a very condensed time frame, but also we're launching with 70,000 apps. And we have an ambition to be at 
have an astronaut at 60. That's amazing. It's just amazing. So what does it mean for Singapore? Uh, I've seen the question is all, all across your mind. Well, obviously, for those of you who are keen to, uh, to first get their hands on the library tent, I'm really proud to announce that the library tent is already available at Singtel for free order from today. Start up for free register. And one for free register as well. Two days now. So I had a, a few discussions with my team earlier with the carrier and you know they opened their website this morning and uh, during lunch one of them called me and said it's amazing. Registration is just uh, flying around and uh, they were afraid that after their website was closed it would actually go down. So it's just the momentum around Library 10 is just great, great for Singapore. Library 10 is mentioned today. As I said, free order, free registration for everyone's talent, free order for the same time. And it will be available in shops on 7th of March. So have this in mind. 7th of March, all of you will buy your Z10. All of you. I promise you buy your Z10. If you don't, I will have to go one by one and convince you to do it. So all of you, 7th of March, Go to your very carrier partner and buy your Z10. <coughs> At a decimal level, as I said, I'm using Z10 for that month now. Uh, I, used it, I used it before, but the real Z10 that you will get for you. Uh, and I'm just using it as differently as any other device. I used the uh, Volvo 1900 before, that was my corporate device given by Blackberry. And I'll use D10 for my personal life to do some great stuff and I'll demonstrate this morning what I do with it. And I'll be happy to show you what I do. Um, story maker is just unique. Nobody has a story you've seen in the video, but I think it's worth doing some real demonstration in two or three minutes, show you what we can do for um, for uh, multimedia on the library tech. The gaming experience for the first time, nobody in this room will tell me, I think. Library was a leader in the gaming industry. Right. Now, on Blackberry 10 and on Z10, we bring an environment and an ecosystem where, for the first time, you can have a true experience around gaming. And guess what? EA is committed to Blackberry 10 to bring you a very wide portfolio of games. Game Loft is committed to Blackberry 10 to bring you a wide portfolio of games at once. So on that note, I would like to thank you all. It's always a pleasure to stand before you. And uh, I will hand over to Damien, and I will uh, go through a demonstration, and I will be with you a little bit later and show you what I do with my own Z10. And again, 7th of March, buy yours. Um, it's coming, it's live, it's in Singapore. Thank you very much. <laughs> Charles, uh, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Charles has actually already mentioned our next uh, speaker to come on stage. Ladies and gentlemen, David Tate, Senior Director of Asian Pacific Product Management for Blackberry. And he's going to come up and give a little run through of the device itself uh, on the screen. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I'm sure you're all as excited as uh, we are with the launch of the Z10. Uh, thank you, Charles, for controlling yourself. Uh, this morning, when we did the uh, demo for he just couldn't control himself and he was just demoing stuff that I was supposed to be doing. So, wait for your turn to come. Now, what I'm going to do is, um, I guess, new hardware, new operating systems, uh, new ways of sharing, new ways of connecting. Uh, I think Charles talked about library people, what this platform is built for, people on the go, people who are successful, always doing things, multiple connections. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to show you three key features. Uh, Charles talked about it. The, the Blackberry Flow, the peak and the half is one. Uh, we'll talk a bit about the keyboard clearly. We need to show you that. And uh, DVM. Uh, now, those are the three key features. Uh, you heard Charles talk about Story Maker. Uh, now, we got an experience zone, and uh, you can try it out there. Uh, and then, you know, play around. There's lots more to talk about, right? So, let me just show you two things. Uh, can we have the screen now?
Okay, so this is my uh, my life advice. Now, what you see on uh, on the standby screen uh, is uh, useful information, stuff that you would get uh, your next calendar appointment time. But what you see on the left, for example, uh, all the notifications that are on uh, that you have. Uh, if you press the camera uh, from the lock screen itself, you can activate the camera if you want to. Now, once you unveil the device, uh, what you get uh, is basically this. Uh, this is what we call active frames. Uh, and, and the last eight tabs that we have open will, will appear here. And this is great for people who are multitasking. They're doing multiple things at one time. Uh, you, you're going to the website, you search something, cut something, you want to go into uh, the document to do it. Uh, let me just show you an example. You want to go in there, type something. Uh, decide you can go to the browser or maybe go to Facebook. Have a look at that. Look at how fast is it to move from one thing to another. Okay. Now, so that's that's really uh, what we got in terms of uh, multitasking. So really great for uh, I think you know, with the QNX platform as the base, uh, it's really a great platform for multitasking. Right. Now, what you will notice as well is that as I as I bring the app up to the foreground, um, because the screen real estate is much bigger, you get a lot more information. Uh, and if you decide to close it, uh, it actually presents as much more relevant information because the real estate is small. As a developer, you can get the APIs to do that if you want to. Uh, so that's one. Now, what I really want to show then uh, is. Let's think about the notification, right? So we're a great platform for messaging. Now, we've decided on the BB10 to keep the signature red flashing light that's on the right, top right hand corner. So that's available on the back of the hand, and you can see that. Now, what, what usually happens then uh, is that you are know, typically engrossed in something. Let, let's say, for example, in my case, it is Facebook, right? You're looking at stuff on Facebook, uh, and the blinking light comes on. Now, that's when you can decide to do this. And decide, hey, what have I got that's coming? Uh, if, if it's, let's say for example, it's a BBM message that's coming, and you think, hey, I'm not really waiting for a BBM, okay, I'm just waiting for an email from the boss, uh, you know, I don't want to, I want to stop what I'm doing, I can go back and do what I'm doing. So it, it, it allows you to continue with the chain of thought what you're doing. Now it's great for things like writing an email, for example, long work email, you don't want to be, you know, stopped at, Interrupted. This gives you the ability to pick and see what are your notifications that are out that you've got. Now you can take it one step further. Uh, take for example, you go into key part as a BBF, maybe I should have a look. You can take it one step further and decide to go and have a look at the heart. Okay. Now if it's again, if you don't like it, you can go back and do that. Now key and the notifications are available anywhere. So you, you notice that this is when the app is in the foreground. Uh, Peak is available when it's on the active train, for example, here. Uh, it is also available on the app hand, right? So if you do this, same thing, same action gets you that. No buttons to press, nothing. Just swipe up and that's it. Okay? So that's P. Let me go back here to show you again. Now if you decide you want to go and do something. You get the hub. So this is what I think uh, Charles talked about, the hub, and, and I think as his name suggests, it's a hub for all the messaging. All your communication comes into here. If you look at the screen, you get BBM, you get notifications, for example, for app upgrades, uh, text messaging, missed calls, uh, emails, multiple emails if you want to, work email if necessary. Uh, in fact, you can see that I've got a work email there. Everything. Now, if you decide that you want to filter something, uh, just do that, and you get only the stuff that you want to see for that account, right? Now, one thing with the hub uh, is that you do a lot of stuff on the hub. Right? Let me show you Twitter, for example. Uh, you go in there, if you look at the chat, this is coming message for me, and then you want to reply, you just do that. Now, you've noticed that I didn't get out of the hub. Right? I just went into it and did that, and I can actually reply from the hub itself. Um, so this is really about you know, flow, how, how we flow from one thing to another. Um, the analogy for flow in the Singapore context is that you, know, you get out of your house and take a bus. Right? You get to the MRT station, the train station is waiting for you, the train is waiting for you. 
Il dort pas. So that's something that you can use for flipping. So we, we call this uh, giving typing the flip. Um, and, and as you go along, I, I mean, I, I wouldn't suggest that you do this for long emails. Um, but you would do this really, you know, when you need to do it. Uh, not that I suggest you doing it for the driving, for example, but you know, when you're at the airport, for example. Now, with the one, one hand key, uh, you can also decide to uh, delete the keys. And all you need to do is just swipe. Uh, I can't really do it without the camera, but essentially you just swipe uh, and, and you're, you're deleting first, right? Or you decide you need simple, you just with one hand, uh, just toggle it by just swiping it down. That's all you need to do. Okay. So that's the BlackBerry keyboard. Uh, the last thing I want to show is then uh, BBM. Uh, a lot of BlackBerry users uh, today, even today on the BlackBerry OS, uh, use BBM. I think in Singapore. 
four and eighty percent or more uh, memory use mysteries BPM. That's very high percentage, right? Uh, no, with, with obviously with BlackBerry Ten, uh, which can be experienced uh, well, at least the interface much better. Uh, you get your contacts all appearing uh, uh, in read format if you want to. Uh, groups uh, is is done in a oral format, so you get the chat up there, the pictures that you have shared with the group, for example. Uh, you know, things to do in events. Uh, one thing that we've done also with uh, BlackBerry Ten. This, this thing called that PDF video. Uh, so let me just try and show this. I hope it, uh, it works with Wi-Fi. I hope not many are on Wi-Fi. So if you've noticed, you've got a connect a green icon at the top, uh, and it works on a 3G. We've got very good 3G, which is the uh, or 4G LTE. Uh, I think the devices we well, the devices we're launching in Singapore, the Z10 is LTE. Okay. Or if you're on your home Wi-Fi. So let me try and call that. So, so obviously, with uh, BDF video, you get face-to-face -face video. Uh, quality is dependent on the network that you have. So, if you're not sharing your Wi-Fi with uh, 70 other people, it should be better. <laughs> okay. So, obviously, this is something uh, interesting. What we've done on top of the BDF video is that we do uh, screen share. So, Matt, uh, can you share your screen? Please?
very, very exciting. Uh, I can't wait to get my hands on a device as well. I'm a big Black Rider fan, uh, and Stevie Y I'm here as well, so I support the team. And uh, like I said, it's very, very exciting. The uh, Z10's is up here now, and uh, it's going to be going to Singapore very soon. We are going to feature a little bit more uh, once uh, we get back up here and do a Q&A session. So, you know, get your questions ready once we see our next two presentations uh, from local developers. Now, Charles has already mentioned that we have 70,000 apps currently um, on the Z10. So, that's a huge amount of uh, apps and uh, developers have jumped aboard to, to, to really support BlackBerry um, and this new device and platform. And we're going to have two local developers who have actually added to these apps who are going to come up and show us a little bit more about uh, their uh, applications and uh, going through what they have. Our first uh, presentation I want to invite up here is uh, Mr. Ken Ming Lee, he's the founder and CEO of Pocket Deals. Um, and I'm sure some of you, or most of you here, are probably using uh, his app already. So, Ken, are you ready to go up and uh, Actually, give us a talk here. Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for coming out here. Thank you. Well, first of all, hi everyone. I'm Ken from Pocket Deals, the developers of Popcorn. First of all, I'd like to uh, thank Pinefolks and Blackberry for inviting us here today. Uh, we're extremely psyched up to be uh, part of this exciting event. For those of you who have not heard of Popcorn, Popcorn is the leading movie app in Singapore with half a million users rated four and a half stars on the app stores. And Popcorn users uh, use our app more than a million times every single month. So, Popcorn, what Popcorn is, is the easiest way for you to see what movies are showing on the big screen, allows, allows you to check movie show times and also book tickets at all the major cinema chains in Singapore. So instead of using five apps or websites, you only need one app, Popcorn. With two and a half million people in Singapore, eight between 20 and 65, we estimate probably one out of five moviegoers use Popcorn for their movie needs. So today we're bringing Popcorn to Blackberry users. So let's get started on the demo. Unfortunately, the phone is not here. <laughs> So first of all, Popcorn looks uh, better than ever on the new Blackberry like, and it's gorgeous display. Uh, first thing you see when you start Popcorn is this uh, movie search screen. It's a very simple but powerful uh, way of finding what you want with just a few clicks. So we've designed a movie search to cater to a few scenarios. So for example, if you're near a cinema, say Lido, okay, and you want to find out what's showing in Lido, all you have to do is just select Lido from the list, click search, and there you go, you have all the movies showing at Lido today. Alternatively, if you you know feel like catching the latest Die Hard, uh, you can also do that. And but you're not fussed on where you want to watch it. So what you can do is select Die Hard from the list, select any cinema, search now, and you have Die Hard, a list of uh, cinemas showing showing Die Hard today. And if you want to be really specific, you say, I want to watch Die Hard and Lido, you just have to just select Lido and Die Hard, and then that shows you what time. 
die hard trying to be able to it. So all you have to do is just uh, select the shortcut just one quick book, alright, and that takes you to this uh, book page and you measure by your two minutes. So it's uh, really that easy to do a movie search and it really simplifies things as popcorn, uh, only shows you what is relevant. So there's no more uh, endless scrolling of uh, you know, information just to, to find what you're looking for. At any time, you can just uh, click on the movie to look at the movie details. If you want to make a booking, just like Showtime, it's just that easy. So the other thing you can do with popcorn is also not just browse uh, movies showing in cinemas currently, but also upcoming movies. So if you don't have any idea of what movies uh, show in cinemas or what want to watch, you can actually use this uh, to do your research. So just click there, see the movie synopsis, cast, uh, and also the uh, YouTube video. So the one thing that really impressed with the uh, BlackBerry 10 is really the, the, the responsiveness and performance of the device. This makes the whole popcorn user experience super smooth. Uh, just, just check it out. With the, uh, so I can do this all day, just clicking that. It's pretty nifty. So developing popcorn for Blackberry 10 has been a uh, relatively smooth and painless experience for, for us. Uh, Blackberry is a super friendly, uh, you know, uh, it's super developer friendly and you know more so than the other platforms that we've worked on. Uh, at the end of the day, Blackberry 10, yeah, it's a great device, so uh, we look forward to you guys buying your Blackberry 10s and downloading popcorn. And uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you, Ken. I need to get on that app, actually. It's a pretty cool app. I like to watch movies, and I didn't know anything about it because I'm not, a, I'm not an app guy. I might start getting into it once they get on this uh, new device. Our next guest up on here, we're going to get Mr. Vegan Wong, who's a co founder and chief architect for Risco Mobile Solutions. So he's going to probably give us a little presentation about his app. Ladies and gentlemen, Vegan. Hi, Gilancho. My name is Vegan. I'm a co founder and a chief architect of Risco Mobile Solutions. For those who are open to us, the Bristol Mobile Solution started two years ago, and we based in Singapore. We have a development center as well as sales office in Jakarta. We are an application publisher, and we monetize all our apps through advertising. We have a fantastic advertising platform as well. Uh, just some background quick story. The application I'm going to show to you uh, later on. We built um, we published the application two years ago. We have more than now 25 million downloads worldwide. And recently, uh, just for the past 30 days, we have 4 million users, active users that come to our network. Just past 12, 20 days, we have 1 million downloads of our app. We launched the PPM version that together on the 30th of January. We are top three worldwide downloads right now for DB10. We built the apps three years ago. Um, why I built the apps is I'm just about the sharing app. And because I observed that um, we black readers launch an uh, EBM social platform, and we see a lot of ladies in the in the black read, uh, what you know, black read messenger, they love to change their pictures and update their status just like Twitter. And I also observed that they're not using Photoshop to you know, piece their picture together. And then they beautify it, you know, make it skin glow a little bit, maybe, and then add a little bit uh, of effect just to make the picture look nicer. The after the picture could be ten times a day. So that's the reason why I got the app and to build something called BlackBerry. So we have launched it on the BlackBerry 07 and on the B10. So today I'm going to show you 
on the unit line of cost on the other end cell. So is the application. The first page you see that the popular uh, uh, so-called picture is shared by the user. So you browse the picture. You can see the performance of browsing is downloading the pictures from the network just so fast. That is the beauty of the factory tag. Everything is just fast, responsive. Let me go into a picture to, to show you whether I find my favorite pictures. I want to make a comment. If I like it, or well, I want to profile of this user, if I like this user, I can just follow. Or I can even, if this user allows, I can add, add the user to my DM. Right? Again, this is well integrated to the back to messenger. Browse, discover new people. If you like the product, there are photos, you need that this uh, if the person that if you want to invite you to chat via DM. Or you can like the picture, you can even put it as your profile picture. Unfortunately, this device hasn't started with the BBM yet. Of course, it's just about browsing. I'm talking about these applications that allow you to compose nice pictures, right? Especially for the lady. First, we can choose the layout. We have many layouts that is out of the box free. Right? When we launch this device, probably about what? Layout. And every week we add on different themes for layout. Maybe this is because of like grade 10 launch or during the Valentine's Day, so we have no different uh, you know, layout. We can choose again every week to update it with a different layout. Or you are a simple person, just want a simple layout. Again, you can choose from different layouts from a simple layout screen. Let's compose a picture. Well, I'll check for ladies, if you like to change uh, you know, different filter, make their skin glow a little bit, right? Or they want to have different effect. It's all free. You can see that when I change the filter, it just, I don't know, it's like magic, right? It's so fast when you're changing the filter effect on the black red tent. You want to change the different background. After you are satisfied with it, you can simply share. What you share is sharing to the network as well as you are setting it as a profile picture. Mm -hmm. Whether the on or off, you post to the network. Unfortunately, again, the media is not set up. If not, you can set it as a profile picture and then share the network, share picture to the network. So, <coughs> you just keep sharing a photo, making new friends, making comments. That's how you discover the community. For example, you can browse and nearby photos. Or people that you follow, or etc. The application itself is well integrated to the PDM or to the, to the Facebook. You can, you can send, share photos to the PDM or to our network. You can just share to Facebook and Twitter as well. So, with the development of the PD10, you see that we follow this, the whole native Black Rex experience. The photo is just fit. So, you want, you want to go back to a uh, what I like about Black Green 10 is I just, just forget about the background. Go to another picture, browse another picture, go back, go back. It's how fast the, res the response is. You just do not need to worry when you actually touch the background. Or you want to find where is the background, or you want to move your thumb to the top left corner, or top right corner, or bottom left corner. Just simply swipe it, right? You just go back to, to the navigation. This lovely about Black Green, everything just flow, even your apps. That we are the other app we built as if that you are not living the black green tech experience. If you are in the in the so-called active brain, unfortunately I'll disable the feature and you see the popular uh, picture will be streaming into your home page. This is how we are able to integrate very well into a black In the front of we have improved it such that we will give notifications if someone follows or someone comments on a picture, we will be using the API. Uh, to well integrate to the point. And one more thing, Big Stories is one of the 70 apps worldwide getting the certification built for BlackBerry 
yesterday. What is this signification? Because it means we are well integrated finding the tremendous experience on the Black Bridge OS X. With this, I'm going to end my demo and hope that you're able to uh, download, purchase a Z10, download tutorials, and happy sharing. Thank you. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that pretty much wraps up uh, the presentations and the demos that we had uh, set up for today. Um, but we'd like to have a bit of a Q&A session now, because I'm sure some of you out there might have some questions for us. So I'd like to invite back on stage uh, Charles and Damien. And I'm actually going to sit here and uh, open the floor up to you guys to ask any valid or reasonable questions. And uh, we can go from there. We'll leave that device on. Okay. I've got my page. Right. Okay. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I think Charles, you were a little bit busy, right? No, I was talking about your picture. Yes. So, yes. Uh, I want to demonstrate the story maker and labor. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. That's it. I read on which. Uh, which favorite feature Charles is going for. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, do we have any questions out there for... Okay, yes. Hi, uh, Tini from Digital Live. Just a quick check. Would the ZCAM be using BES, BIS, or any of the normal data plans that the three helpers have? Yeah, so... Okay. Uh, yeah, so the BlackBerry 10, we've actually uh, changed the way we connect to the network. I think basically a lot of, of course a lot of this is uh, dependent upon the carriers are providing which uh, we can go through that uh, when the carriers begin to plan. Uh, but essentially Blackberry 10 is the same uh, type of infrastructure, same type of network activity that most smartphones today use. You need an uh, Android or iOS, so it doesn't really use uh, this when it's not the one. So there is not only using DES or DIS? So, well, okay, um, unless for example if you're on a corporate, for example, if you're Right? Uh, in, in those environments, yes, you can really use the, the black range of the uh, But other than that, if you're a consumer, it goes through the whole carrier network stuff, just like any of them. So just to be specific on the on SIM tier plan, that will be available on Flexi plans, and on Star plan, that will be available on Smart, smart Surf plan, and on M1, that will be available on their smartphone plans. So forget about the ES maker or DIS. Oh, the thing about DES is previously for DES, you guys are able to do data reduction, so you use less data when you emit this data up for us. So you should know that in Singapore we have a recent drop in the data cap. So how will this how are you going to show customers that you can data cap? So there are two questions here. One about compression, and uh, I'll let Daniel answer that one. And, uh, and the other one is how do we adapt to So, so, I mean, uh, again, like I said, if, if you are on a corporate network, if you have the best infrastructure, uh, then there's the same kind of uh, uh, compression that would be available. Yeah? But, but then if, it, it, if it's normal browsing, for example, then, then uh, we've basically gone and done exactly what every other smartphone is intended to do today. Yeah. So you just answered the two yeah. questions. <laughs> <laughs> right, that's the first question. So compression <laughs> is the same as what we had before, especially in the what we call advanced environment where we can compress data and secure data uh, for smart server, smart plan, uh, sorry, flexi plans, which just work as well as the other platforms. Okay, uh, sorry, one last question. You mentioned there are 70,000 apps on launch, correct? So my question is, how many of them are ported from Android? Oh, that's a good question. How many ports from Android? Yes. Uh,
Any more questions from anyone else? Not sure. Yep, yep. Okay. We'll go. We'll get to you later, sir. Yeah. Thank you. Hi. Hi. Yes. Okay. I'm just wondering, like, what's the MSRP or is that pricing that uh, you guys cannot announce? I mean, like, I mean, we actually knew that question was going to come up. I mean, I mean, like, you want us to buy it, right? So, like, we don't know how much we're going to make up for this for. So the pricing would be available through the carriers for prices and plans. So I know it's already live on the uh, I see my friend from Sita here. Uh, I know it's already live on Sita shop. So I've seen a picture of that with a nice uh, black and white CT. Uh, so on plan, if you subscribe to a plan, please check on your own carrier. Uh, with that plan, I've seen the retail price would be my one. Nine one nine. Nine one eight. Nine one eight. Singapore dollars. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, that gentleman over there. Oh, thank you. Hey, Brian Marsh, Um Can you take us through some of the enterprise apps that you'll have available? Um, whether it's a big name CRM, ERP, or even something as simple as Webex. Thanks. Yes. So uh, that's a good point. Actually, Cisco Webex is a bit like a tail. So what you've been uh, seeing. On the consumer side, you know, with uh, BBN videos and screen share, so we have the same term for um, corporate life. So for the enterprise customer that use WebEx today, WebEx is available at launch on BlackBerry 10. We also have plenty of partners like SAP, Salesforce.com that are working on our platform to get ready for BlackBerry 10. Um, I'm not sure we can commit yet that it will be available at launch. We were working with them to release an app that would be relevant to the corporate side. We also have an app which is called, called Blackberry Drive uh, that is allow you access to your lab environment. So if you're a corporate user, you want to go with mobile, keep moving, it's a timeline of a Blackberry Tech. You can access your securely your lab environment from what we call Blackberry Drive. Any more questions? Yes, no? Sure. Over here, yes. Blackberry 
sponsor of the Mercedes AMG Petronas uh, Formula One uh, team. So now Lewis Hamilton is wearing a black green horizon. So that's great. So this morning we just endorsed a few elite ambassadors for Singapore. They are wearing a collar. I expect that this morning they are my extended team. They are virtually in my team. And that's great to see some, you know, some mention of around uh, black green team. And you guys, because you're going to buy one at 7th of March, would be part of my team as well. You would be black green people, right? Yeah. 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 I'm proud to be a part of all these uh, esteemed uh, people. And yeah, as Charles said, if you're not going to go and buy this device, my seventh is going to come out to each and one of them. I'll join him. I'll, I'll join him. <laughs> yes. Hi, Anna. My name's Amy. I work for Expanding. I'm not a black woman. <laughs> um, but my partner is who works in the law firm here. And uh, the, the navigation, the maps app is awful on his BlackBerry. And I was just wondering if there's been any effort to, um, to redevelop it. Yeah, so we recognize the need to develop a great app. So we did a few things, not only with a lot of new apps that I've written yet, it's called Maps, which is simple as that. We also have Android port on Library 10. So yes, it is much better. Yes, it's working. Yes, it's reliable. Yes, you can go from point E to point A with the new Library 10 maps. Thank you. Yes, one over there. I am not sure in the science. Mm -hmm. Talking to some analysts, the library to market trends before is actually pretty low, under five percent. How do you intend to grow that? And it looks like a price in nine hundred and fifty dollars. The Android devices quite for itself for less than eight hundred. How do you compare yourself to those? I mean, how do you convince consumers that they could like it? So more, more than talking, right? What we want to do and the way we go to market with our carriers is about demonstrating what we do. And that's why we're doing that today. About showing you demonstrating and you get your hands on in the experience zone on the other side of the device. I invite you to experience the factory experience. You're absolutely right to say that Singapore will have some challenges ahead of us. Our ambition is much more than that. That's why we announced Z10, Q10, and a roadmap. The roadmap is coming later, otherwise, if I relate the roadmap today, um, I'll, be, I'll, be, I'll be there in this year. But we're coming with some more. So, not only are we launching the Z10 for the carriers, but also we're coming offer that we believe because of the experience, not only because we say it, because we've seen people taking up on library technologies that we transform the way we are in Singapore. Yes, it's an immense challenge ahead of me to run a library in Singapore, but I'm ready for it. And that's why I choose to, uh, to join library in month ago, because I believe we have something to do in Singapore specifically. The good thing is that the developer believes so. So you, you see Popcom and, and um, what's the other name? Sorry, I just forgot the name. Okay. Big story. Big story. Big story. Uh, and we have more coming. So the whole experience makes sense of what we've been doing, you know, day in, day out, ensure that we will get the right, you know, take of like great here. So, so maybe at this point, I mean, really, a lot of, a lot of, what you said, a lot of the vendors out there, I think they can't differentiate. The only way they can differentiate is to look at, you know, putting more and more on the I think what, what we do is really about the experience. Uh, and I know Charles is dying on the story maker. Uh, why don't you do the demo? Because, I mean, you, you look, I mean, we've got a pretty advanced uh, platform here. Uh, so call to me, if you're familiar with so call, it's an advanced uh, so call um, different context. So what I want to do, why don't you show the story maker? Because I know you're dying to do it. And it will demonstrate to you how fast this, this device is. Okay, it's all about the experience. Do you want to do it? It's, it's not only the experience, it's about unique experience. Yeah. What we're doing with story maker, nobody else is doing it. Yeah. Well, watch, you can do it. <laughs> or, or let's say differently, I challenge you to tell me somebody who's doing it. Yeah, and how fast that is. Uh, any other questions before I go into the yeah. oh, oh, oh. <laughs> okay. yes. Yeah. Yeah, your question now. No, hi. Uh, David from Hazard Mac. Um, first of all, the way you, you uh, 
announce the trade-up program? Do you have plans for Singapore? We didn't announce that. I don't think we did. Uh, what we announced is a few programs, uh, especially around the enterprise community. We announced a ready program, which is how, so if you were an enterprise customer today, how to get ready for the BlackBerry 10. And that, that is why we believe the BlackBerry Enterprise Server 10, sorry, BlackBerry Enterprise Service 10, 23rd of January. So that is called ready program. And we also announced a program that helps customers to uh, migrate into a decent environment um, and it's called Line House Program. I didn't see us announcing a trade off program in Malaysia. Oh, in Malaysia? Yes, across the country. Right, so that was yesterday, right? So we launched, we, we launched yesterday in Malaysia. Uh, I'm not aware of the details of Malaysia trade program. Yeah, Charles, I can let you know. Yep, I'll over here in the dark. Um, so we do a Hastings uh, work in the region for Blackberry. So um, we have slightly different marketing programs by country because each country is a little different. Specifically in Malaysia, there is a lot more prepaid users than there are in Singapore. Singapore is predominantly a contract market. So uh, it makes sense if you have a prepaid device and you want to upgrade uh, for us to launch an upgrade offer for those customers in Malaysia. Um, in Singapore, it doesn't make as much sense because most people work with their carrier and, and, uh, and have a postpaid contract and, and re-sign, uh, especially possible customers for this product because it is a premium product. So uh, yes, we have launched a, uh, a, a trading program. It's not our program, we're working with a trusted third party vendor to, to provide that. Uh, but uh, it's not yet to be launched in Singapore because uh, it's not really required in this, in, in this market. Okay, we have time for one last question. I believe there was someone. Yeah, okay. And if there are any more questions later, we have a team here happy to accommodate um, you on that start. Hey, uh, my parents have got mobile batteries. Uh, I just want to check with you. Uh, as you understand that the legacy devices have BlackBerry Bridge, which allows us to join next to the playbook. So now that uh, we have BlackBerry 10, and I understand the playbook is related to BlackBerry 10, how will the interaction between the phone, the mobile device, and the tablet be Right, so BlackBerry Breach is available on the CK. So you will have the same interaction with your play with your play computer that you had with your BlackBerry OS in the old current on BlackBerry OS 10. So BlackBerry Breach is available on BlackBerry Alright, one last demonstration. This is something that I learned this morning as well. Right. Charles actually showed, uh, showed me this fantastic feature. It's probably my favorite feature as well. Okay, um, let's so do that then. This is something that we're going to show you right now. So you've seen with Damien the, uh, the peak, the flow, the keyboard, how BlackBerry 10 learns about what you do. Well, I'll show you now is something a little bit more. Sorry, Damien. <laughs> so something very sexy. Yes, I know about it. Um, and I love it. And again, I've shown you to study who nails has it. So this is my actual phone. Uh, that's what I use. That's my real life phone. It's not a demonstration. Uh, so, you know, I organize my work, my, my, my personal life. In a few categories, I have my use, my multimedia. And if I go into my multimedia, you see that I have story data. So what I'm going to do is to show you how I create a short movie of what just happened right now. I've been taking pictures of you, I've been taking pictures of people on stage, and how quickly you can summarize that in something which is pretty awesome. So I have my library here, some family pictures, and I have my pictures from just right now. So I've been taking pictures of you, so I select my media pictures. Also select video here. Can you see the icon? Yeah, small video icon. We can see Ken, we can see them on stage, we can see the crowd. We can see you guys and so on and so forth. So I select everything I want. Then I will just press next. Here, give me the optional um, type of song. And then you can see my age, uh, or you know, give and take which kind of music I'm listening. So, 60s, 
The key here is not that I don't play music right now with a stereo here. It's just in a few minutes what you're able to create with Story Maker on Z10. And if you're not happy with it, so for example, let's say I want it to black and, black and white, just click on the right side, black and white, and we redo it from scratch just in black and white. Right? So that's the same. Say I want it vintage to vintage time. Immediately, super fast. You can tweak it, you can change the way you do video pictures, the order. So if I go into this menu, you can change the order of pictures and everything, drag the items where I want. When I'm happy with it, for example, the video, do that the end. Yep, here. Okay. Uh, the like it? I love it, right? Uh, really love it. Once you're done with it, just save it and share with your friends. So you can share immediately on Blackberry Time on all your uh, social network, LinkedIn, Facebook, whatever it is. Thank you. 